Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to set up a vehicle for export to UDK. Uh, today we're going to be stepping through how to set up a bone system, how to skin the mesh to the bone system, and then ultimately export it to UDK. And then later tutorial we'll go through the setup processes in UDK for this vehicle. Okay, let's get started. So one thing I want to talk about is the vehicle itself. If you have a look at it, you can see that it's made up of several parts. So these parts are not actually welded together. They are part of the single mesh, but they are kept separate. This is done so to ease some of the pain in the skinning process. This model you will be able to download in the links on the YouTube video. Okay, so what we're going to do straight up is we're going to start creating a bone system. So I'm going to go to my creation panel and go over to systems and look for bones, which I'll activate. I will left click and create, start creating the bone, and left click again, which will end the creation of the first bone. And with the second bone, I will right click, and what it will do is create a nice bone, very simple, plain shape. I'm going to delete the first bone as I want to concentrate on this bone here. So, what I'm going to do is right click the spinners down the bottom here to zero out its position in the world. And with the rotate, I'm also going to zero at its position. Please note I am using some of the shortcut keys. W for translate, E for rotation, R for scale. Okay, so I have this bone in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as the basis for the bones required for creating the system for this vehicle. So I'm going to go to translate mode and I'm going to make a duplicate of this bone and to do so I'm going to hold down shift and drag out a copy. While it's out, I'm going to start, go straight ahead and name it. This one will become the front left tire. And the objective is to position it, of course, over by the front tire there. So one thing you can do straight away is sort of move it over into position. But ultimately, trying to line something up like this is not going to be really that effective. So what I want to do actually is I want to line it up with some of my geometry here. The geometry I'm interested in look here is actually this edge here. Okay, so the best way to do that is with a snap. So I'm going to activate my snaps tool. But I'm going to right click the snap tool and it's standard is on grid points but I'm going to change this to a midpoint. And if I grab the center of my object, you will see that I can easily snap to the center of this hub. This is to ensure that the wheel rotates exactly around its axis. If it's a little bit off, you will have a wobbly wheel. Okay, so I'm going to switch off snap. And I'm going to go to my left view. This is the left view due to the orientation requirements of UDK. And I'm just going to move this joint over to where the center of my axle is here. So I need to point out the fact that the wheel is here and my axle is here, which connects to my body of my vehicle here. So my wheel will connect here. And what you'll see is you'll get a rotation of my axle which will start to behave like a suspension. So I want to position it here. So on the x-axis is lined up perfectly with my tire, but it is positioned so this is where it will pivot as far as my axle is concerned. Okay, so swinging around, I have my first bone complete. So what I'm going to do is shift drag out another copy for the other wheel over the other side. And this one I'm going to call the front right tire. Just remove the numbers. Okay, to position this precisely, uh, we only really have to do one thing. One is to copy the values from our previously positioned joint. And the values I'm looking at in particular are my y-axis. -axle, y so I'm just going to copy that information. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it into the opposite bone. Of course, it would be in the negative value because it is on the opposite side. 
So this should be aligned exactly across the vehicle, so I don't have to do much more than that. So I'm going to select both bones now, and I'm going to drag it out to the rear of the vehicle here. I'm just going to not worry about, worry about uh, naming that at the moment, because I'm going to go in and use the snap tool to make sure this is lined up precisely. So again, <coughs> I will select the snap tool here, select the center of my bone, and position it in the center of the wheel there. And vice versa with the other side, align that precisely as well. Switch off the snap. And what I'll do is select this joint first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to repaste that value, which will be in the clipboard from the previous paste. To make sure it's positioned precisely as the front axles as well. So this one is the same process again. And we set snap into position. So from my left view, all the joints should line up precisely. And from the front view, you should have nice alignment like so. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the axle part. So what I want to do is I want to create the rest of the axle here, which will join up to here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this bone here. I'm going to shift drag out a copy. Now note that I'm just dragging it through to Z and Y axles, axes. This one I'm going to call front right axle. Okay, and I'll go to my left view and I'll turn on wireframe mode, F3, and drag it up into position up here. So I'm just lining it up by eye. Okay, but essentially what I want to do is sort of position it around here for the center line. And that should work quite well. We're going to give it the perspective. And I'm going to drag out a copy with the shift key again to the other side. So it asked me to rename it. This time I'm going to call it left. Like so. And I'm going to copy and paste the value from the Y axis again here. So I'll take the positive part of the number and paste it onto the other side. Oops. And it should line up beautifully. I'm going to drag, grab these two joints from here. And I'm going to shift drag out copy for the rear of the vehicle. Don't worry about the naming just yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the value from the x axis here and paste it into these two joints here, which should make it very nice indeed. Okay, while well, I'm in here, I'm going to go in and make sure I give it the correct naming. So this one will be back for or B for back, left axle. This one will be back right axle and make sure my wheels are named correctly so we'll be back also back right tire and of course the one over the left here back left so I change the front to B and remove that 001 from the end alright so we're doing pretty well here so let's look at our root bone here So I'm just going to rename this root bone and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees around. Uh, best thing to do here is just input an absolute value and you'll find that it is rotated precisely and I'm just going to position it up in the mesh here. This should be fine for its position. Okay. So now I'm going to hide my mesh so on the display panel here. I'm going to go down and select geometry, which will hide it, and allow me to just work with the bones here. So now what I want to do is I want to make these axle bones point directly at my tire bones. To do that, I will go to the animation menu and I will choose a constraint. The one I'm interested in is the one that's called the lookout constraint. 